What is up guys? Right, so in this video we're going to be hunting the Tatanka Bison. It is actually called American Bison, but in the Lakota language it is Tatanka. I'm not 100% sure I'm pronouncing it correctly though. But this guy can be found just southeast of McFarlane's Ranch. Just over here. And southwest of Thieves Landing. And there he is right there. And the question mark is just to the left of him. So off we go. Look for a large pile of crap. And then before you get started, do the normals. Cover your scent. Clean your weapons. I realize this is different footage, but I upgraded my weapons. Make sure they're all looking smart and shiny. And then we can head off to the first clue after covering some scent. And now you can only put the scent cover on you when you are standing up. Eventually figure this out. If you are crouching, you won't apply. So there's the first ship clue. What is this, Not that really I have the binocs out because I like to obviously study it and track it through the binoculars just in case it's a parameter for the 100% on the bison. But with these legendaries, you get all of them anyway because you're tracking them at the start. Okay, so clue two. I can find you. There's going to be one more just to my north over there. That's going to be the final clue. Then we're going to head over to the left. And sometimes if you can see them, they will just drop out of thin air when they spawn in. But the last clue is over here. Close now. Now, I wasn't sure what weapon to use. Um, it does say long scope and all that stuff in the uh, compendium. But I like to give them a bit of a chance. But with this bison, I thought, okay, let's just uh, take it down. I want to take the time to say thank you to all my new subbies. Absolutely awesome couple of weeks we've had. Plenty more stuff on the way. And there is the Tatanka bison, aka American bison, or the other way around. And I've also recently done the ghost bison and he's an albino massive bison up in the northwest and I'll do a video on the ghost bison outfit the complete outfit and that will be up by the end of today including the white bison on its own so I went with a long rifle as it uh, suggests but I normally have the Springfield equipped I'm not sure if that was the Springfield but I had the bolt action here so I forgot you had to fire again to reload so he definitely takes a beating that wasn't a headshot, it was a neck shot, but uh, the third one does get him on the ground, but still doesn't kill him. And again, I'm not a fan of shooting these lovely animals, but this is part of the game. And taken in its context, it is fine. Okay, so we're going to head on over. Then we're going to head to the trapper and the fence for the actual reason why we're doing this. Really? It had to look at me first as well? Sure. Okay, so skin him, and then we're going to head on over to the trapper. Right, so get him on the horse, and off we go. And there is some more info on him. It's always good to check this info before attacking because it'll tell you what uh, weapon is recommended. Okay, so trapper wise, we're going to sell him the pelt, obviously. And then with the fence, we're going to build a trinket or craft a trinket. Right, let's see. So there's the pelt there. Just remember the trapper and the fence are kind of like storage units for you. Boy, Anything you sell to them or either one of them. It's going to be useful for both of them, although they are quite unique. Okay, so this is the Dreamcatcher outfit. And you get the Bison vest. And then the other piece of clothing right there. So I like the gloves. They're pretty cool. And the White Bison gloves are the best so far. And you'll see that in the next vid. This gives you an idea about the outfits, but they don't give you any bonuses. These are purely uh, for the look. 
whereas the trinkets are the main things where um, they actually give you passive stats. And the Tatanka Bison Horn Trinket will give you the ability to take 10% less melee damage. It might not seem a lot, but um, this combined with all the other trinkets will give you quite a few passive bonuses. So when they're all combined, it's a much better stat. There we go, guys. You've got the Bison and the Bison Horn Trinket. Upcoming, a couple more Bison videos and the Ghost Bison Outfit. So I hope you found the video informative. Any questions you have, please ask. I'm always going to answer. So I want to say thanks for watching, and I want to catch you on the next one.